I want to help inspire everyone, not just the younger generation, but like everyone in general, because it don't matter where you start in life, it's where you're going, and it don't matter what background you come from, like you just, just got to keep grinding and you can do anything that you put your mind to and I'm living proof of that. <laughs>
yo, I've got to make something of my life. You know, I can either waste my life or make something of my life. And, you know, I just want to put out there to the youth, like it's never too late. You can be whatever you want to be. And just because you don't do well in school or academically, doesn't mean you can't start a business and flourish. Like, I never thought that I'd be doing a clothing brand and getting to where I'm at now. So, grades didn't really mean nothing. Yes, it helps. Like, I'd recommend if you're in school, stay in school and get your grades because it can really, like, you know, get you to where you need to be. Sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know. But having them grades behind you, like, in the real world, it helps on paper. So, if you've got the opportunity and the chance, just get it done whilst you can. But it's never too late. So always remember that. So that's enough for Poulets. Let's let's bounce from here and there. But you know what? One thing I, I gotta shout out like my best friends that I grew up with through school. They've been with me through thick and thin. You know, that's Declan Edwards and Daniel Crooks. Like they ain't even friends, that the family, like um, you know, we all come from the same background, you know, we was raised by single mums, didn't really have our dads around and it's been nothing but mad love and they've they've always had my back through thick and thin and the same way that i've had their backs and we just grew together and you know from the age of 11 up until now we're still tight as anything and what how many people can actually say that they're still close friends with people they grew with in school like it's just unheard of these days you know so right now we're driving back through Poulets to the next location. We're heading to the bridge pub. But yeah, you see that chip shop right there? It used to be Middleton's. But growing up, I used to have my um, hot dog special from there. I think it was about maybe two pounds, two pound ten. Used to have the hot dog with the barbecue sauce and must um, barbecue sauce and mustard, um, onions on. Yeah, just just a cheap meal that. Yeah, all the kids in school loved until they like tried to pen us in and lock us, lock us um, in the school gates and have that Jamie Oliver food, which none of us liked, but yeah, it is what it is. Right now, we're on the way to the bridge pub. So this is a key part to bringing inside the boiler to life and where I've actually come up with the idea and concept. Like, it's a crazy story and yeah, this this is like the most major part to the creating and bringing inside the ball to life. So yeah, let's, let's get to the bridge pub and I'll talk you through the story. Bingo, that's Tony Monroe. Ooh, she want his whole side, I'm on a roll. They call me so side, cause I let him go. I'm calling bro, he bring the snow hey, yeah. She love bingo, that's Tony Mumbo She want his whole side, I'm on the road So, right now, we're at the bridge pub This is where Inside the Baller started This is like, the key factor So, growing up, this was the spot This was the spot everyone used to come to And it, it was popping, it was popping Friday and Saturday This was the spot, so uh, it was one Friday night, I walked in, saying safe to the man them. There's a guy called Liam Sayers, he's over at the bandy. I've gone over to him, I can't remember the full conversation, but he's gone to me, he's gone, oh Liam, what do you do for a living like? He goes, you're proper f***ing balling. So that, uh, it stuck in my head, and I come up with Inside the Baller, they want to know. At the time I was writing lyrics, so I written the lyric down in my phone. Um, the one I know inside the baller, ringing my phone, but I don't answer to private caller. So when I've looked back on it, on my notes, I've saw inside the baller and that's just stuck out and struck me. So at first I was thinking, you know what, do a YouTube channel and call it inside the baller TV and the episodes they want to know where i go around interviewing a host of different celebrities influential people music artists actors um, boxers ufc fighters so that was the main plan a youtube channel 
But then I've, I've got in touch with a designer and he's come up with the, the icon. He's come up with the icon and the signature. So when I saw that, I thought to myself, you know what? Scrap the YouTube channel for now. I'll come back to that at a later date. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the signature on a cap and I'm gonna create t-shirts. So I think I started off with like 50 caps, 50 t-shirts, just test the waters and, and see where I go from there. And yeah, that, that was the start of the clothing brand. Um, you know, I'd actually spoke it into existence years ago. I think I made a status like, I think it was about 2008, 2009. I made a status saying that like in the future, I'd like to venture into creating my own clothing. I want my own clothing label because back then we used to call it clothing label, not clothing brand. So fast forward, a decade later and I've come up with the right idea and concept because a clothing brand you can't just make anything without like substance and true meaning and concept like there's no point doing a clothing brand if your heart and passion isn't in it now inside the baller that's a full package like it's something people can relate or aspire to be like for example on my caps I put quotes so long-term success equals mindful and calculated moves. That's key to me because in order for me to get to where I am today, like I've had to make mindful and calculated moves and I'm aiming for long-term success. Now to be a baller, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to have money. Like you can be successful and balling in many different ways. You can either be talented on a football pitch or talented off the football pitch. You can be balling in love, like it's however you want it concepted into your life and how it relates to you. So never get that twisted, like inside the baller as a brand is so much more than just clothing. This is just the beginning. This is why I'm doing this documentary so people can see my personality, see my clothing as a brand and understand where I've come from, my background. Like this place right here, you got the canal, you got the canal, you got the bridge pub, like growing up. This is this is my running grounds basically and yeah like I, I love my home city, like willing all means the most to me. I was born in Wolverhampton, New Cross Hospital. I was um raised in willing all and I grew up in Warsaw, Bentley, because it was a WS postcode. So for me those three towns and cities mean the most to me. And you know, wherever I'm going in life, I can't forget where I've come from. And to be honest, I'll probably always be here. It sounds crazy. Most people want to get to a certain level and leave their hometown or city. But no matter where I roam, home will always be home. No matter where I travel, like I'll always, be in this city and come back to this city. It seems mad, but whenever I go on holiday, I get mad homesick. But, yo, shout out the Ford KA in the background, like, yeah. Mate, you've just wrecked my shot. We, we keep it rolling though, we keep it rolling. I always get homesick and I can't wait to come back to Willingall. Like, it's as real as that. And in the next part, we're gonna take a trip to Willingall Town Centre and we'll have a walk round and talk about different key factors that have helped the making of Inside the Baller as a brand and my journey so far and how I've elevated and gone from strength to strength. So now you've heard how it started and where it started. You know, shout out to Liam Sayers because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have come up with the idea and shout out the Bridge Pub because growing up, this place really used to be the spot. It was busy like of a Friday and Saturday. Now, nightlife isn't like that anymore. We don't even know if nightlife's gonna be the same once we come out of this pandemic, but we're not here to talk about that. And we keep it moving and we move with the times. Inside the baller, man could never be a staller. I just wish I was a little bit taller. I need them hunters wrapped in hunters, I'm talking right now. I need them VVS's on me, shine like a lighthouse. Two phones, two phones, that's on me right now. Gone, too gone, one more with lights out uh, I'm calling bro, you bring the snow Here inside the baller, 
was so much more than a clothing brand. You know, I really want that cult following. And like I said, you guys are my family. Without you, my dream wouldn't be becoming reality. And I've got love for everyone supporting and rocking my clothing. Like, it's, it's unreal for me and it's it's mind-blowing and surreal at times. Like, I always deep it like uh, I could be driving or I'm at home chilling and I just feel so blessed and lucky to be in the position that I am to create something special and high quality clothing. Like, you can, you can see, you can see it. And anyone who's bought my clothing, like, you know exactly how high quality it is. And it's the real deal. We've just come to the shop, yeah. Obviously, I gotta post something here. Because as soon as the orders come through, I just post it eight straight away. But yeah, we're local to me. We're, we're in New Invention right now. But imagine there's a guy in the shop, yeah, wearing my clothing. So it's out here locally. It's out here. I'm gonna try and boom. I'm gonna try and, yeah, catch his attention and we'll get that on camera. This documentary, it wasn't really gonna be a thing like that, right? but yeah, this is this is organic and we just have to, we have to keep it rolling, so yeah. Should, what, should we go and find him? What do you wanna? Yes, bro. He's saying, man, you good? Yeah, I got you on Snapchat still. No way, man. Yeah, it's mad like I'm just filming my documentary, ain't it, and yeah. Yo, what's your name? Cody, bro. Cody, yo. Love, man. Love, love, bro. Obviously, Cody's is supporting. What What do you actually think of the clothing? I like your idea, not the scarf. Yeah, the scarf yeah, yeah. Looks bad. Obviously, you got you got the hat on. Mm. That's mad. So we're, obviously, we're filming you, the documentary. We're out here and bumped into Cody, right? As I'm doing the post office run. So yeah, man, it's it's all love, but yo, respect for the support, man. And you're gonna see yourself on the documentary. Anything could have happened today, like that happening, like it's a bit surreal because I see it all the time. Like I'll be walking around and I'll, I'll spot people wearing my clothing, and like sometimes I think like, ah, oh, I can't remember dropping it to them, or they must have ordered online, or a friend must have bought it for them. Like it's it's, it's crazy, but. As you can see for yourself, like it's eight here and I'm achieving my goals and yeah, to have that support locally and have that love, like that's second to none, like that's the best. And um, yeah, to have my home city behind me so much and to have so many people local wearing it, it means a lot. And that if you can do it in your home city, like I said, you can do it anywhere. And yeah, man, just massive respect. And yo, shout out Cody. Enough love and respect, bro. All right. Right now, we're here, Willing Old Town Centre, my hometown. This is my hometown where this is the final part of, yeah, this side to the documentary. This is the final part now. So this is where we're gonna wrap it up and then yeah, if you guys want to see more, we'll get into um, part two. So we'll see what the feedback's like on this one and then we'll get into part two, 100%. This is the nitty gritty side, like, obviously I love Willie Hall. I'm not proud about certain things, but I've got to show you the realness of, you know, what the place is like that I've grew up in. So imagine this place right here, this used to be called the Chamberlain. This is where all the parties used to go down back in the day. Most used to end in a fight and get locked off, um, underage drinking, you name it, it was going on in there. But yeah, we're going like to the town centre right now. We're going to the town centre, but yeah, I, I just want you to see, you know what? I don't want to highlight the badness because there's good and bad wherever we go, but yeah, we're in all town. It's changed a lot. I'm, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm in shock right now because I didn't realise that it had become this run down. Like, I, I've come back through regular, but I haven't actually walked around. And, bro, I'm in shock. Like, yo, look at this. That, that stuff, that's, that's to do with needles and stuff. Like, ah, oh, bro, what the hell? Be careful where you're stepping. Look, 
Look. Can you, can you see the needles right there? Oh, look. Like there's kids that are probably walking through here and gonna be around here like, yo, this, need, this needs cleaning up. And I swear, where I get to where I'm going, yeah, I promise I'm, I'm gonna build a foundation and do something to, you know, yeah, hopefully eradicate all this. Look at look at that. Anybody could fall on that, you know. Look now, you know what, people. I've got to apologise. Be careful where you step in as well. I got to apologise. Like I didn't really want to show my um, home town in this light, but yeah, this this is real life, and this this is how it goes. Um, I'm actually in shock. I Bro, did you realise that Willinor was this bad? Wow! I knew the crime rate had gone up. But yeah, let's uh, let's have a walk round here. Yeah? Wow, I am in shock. Bro, I'm in shock. What is going on? What is going on? 2021, you know, and yeah, they've they've let Willinor town. I don't know, they've let it go to rack and ruin, you know, there isn't much opportunity in this town right now, but let's hope that it looks better in the high street, so here we are, we're, we're in the high street right now, um, most businesses are closed down, you know, and this, this is where I suppose, like, places like this, need love and support like independent local businesses need that love and support because there's so many good people that have been here for so long but they're actually struggling i think willing all willing all need some love but like, don't get me wrong it doesn't look that bad it doesn't look that bad when you come into this part but there's there's good and bad everywhere like people need to know that there's good and bad everywhere but this city mean well it's a town this town means a lot to me and yeah, I'm, I'm shocked and disappointed. Like, look at that. Like, they've just let that go. But right now, we're gonna go to the man in the clock. I don't know if I knock the door, whether he's, he's actually gonna be in, but we're gonna chill by the man in the clock. That's what we call it. Like, as a, as a kid, you got told like, ah, oh, there's a man that lives in this clock. So yeah, this is, this is a place that my mom, and my grandma used to bring me all the time like growing up we used to come here do air shopping on the market you'd always go to greg's if you're from willing or like you'd always get like a sausage roll from greg's obviously i don't eat pork no more and obviously i used to get a cheeky trim from um vincenzo's up the way yeah so this is all key factors in growing me to where i am today and like I said, man, I, I, I love this town. What are you saying, bro? Yes, man. Oh, Yo, you got the cap on? Yeah, man. Yo, come, we gotta get this under documentary. Wow, well, well, Yo, this is a really is. I told you, man, when, when I'm around town and that, I always see people wearing my clothing and this is how organic it is. So, you know, we gotta get that in the documentary. This cap right here, it's one of the like first originals. Like, yeah, I'm gonna, is it all right to grab it? Yeah, sure. So this is like from, from two years ago. Obviously it's stayed in like good condition, man. You've looked after this, you know. That's mad, that's mad seeing it. I haven't even got one of these myself. This is crazy right now. Obviously, when I saw it, it was two years ago, Arnie. Two, three years ago. Yeah, yo, he's got the t-shirt on as well. Oh, show, show them the flex and see. When I say about quality, that's all we produce. This is like two, three years old, man. And it's still like durable and still looks fresh as if you just got it, you know, yesterday. That's mad, that's mad. Bro, enough love and respect, man. Yo, I'm glad that you pulled up. That's oh, mad, like, that. Oh, that's like, um, what's the word, man? Look, is it law of attraction or? It's like fate. It's like that shit was meant to happen. That's mad, man. This is um, the, the man in the clock. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I think most people growing up in Willing or like, when your mum used to say like, oh, a man lives in the, the clock. Like, you'd, you'd knock it. 
and I swear you'd be shocked, like you'd run off. That's of my memories from this. I used to knock it, and like you, in your head, I think you envision someone like the Hunchback of Notre Dame, like something like that. You know what? There's so much good to this town as well, so don't let what I've shown you, you know, change your opinion. You know, there's there's good and bad everywhere, like I said, but I've got to be real and I've got to show you everything. But right now, we're taking a trip to um, taking a trip to Greg's. <laughs> we're taking a trip to Greg's right now. I need um, a little boost, a little sugar rush, so I might see um, what yeah, what treats um, take my fancy. But yeah, like I said, if you're from Willingall, like yeah, most people go to Greg's to get a quick little snack, mainly sausage rolls. But in this case, I think I need a donut. Definitely. You know, growing up, okay, when you when you like young, yeah. Obviously, my mom and my nan, they didn't like me going out to the Poulets area. So me, Crooksy, like back in the day, we used to jump on the um, the three four one or the three six nine, right? Quick little buzz ride to willing or town even though we shouldn't be here like if our parents find out like yeah we ain't we ain't gonna get beatings but they ain't gonna be happy so yeah like that was like i think for anyone locally like your parents they, they ain't want you to leave out the area so coming coming to willing was like the cheeky little trip we weren't quite brave to venture to warsaw but we, we got there we got there and yeah we used to come with our top money in a little tub people won't remember them days some will the younger generation won't but my generation will and yeah um this used to be super drug over here um obviously the the veg shop and the butchers that's that's always been there and yeah it's mad and then you got the spud man the jacket potatoes yeah from the spud man unreal like yeah Cheesy beans, cheese, woof. Used to go off, I swear. Used to go off. I sometimes I even used to come to Willing or especially just to have like a jacket potato. Um but yeah. It's mad, it's mad to see like how much has changed. Like it's crazy, it's crazy. At Greg's like to be fair. Obviously, it's always been in the same location. It's it's changed on eight look like it's gone modern, you know. Um, so I'm gonna get. I don't know. I don't know what to have. Cheeky donut. Obviously, they don't want us to film in Greeks, but yeah, I think if you run, we got my um, cookie and we got some donuts. I'm but sharing's caring, so you know you're gonna get some as well. Certain people said like. Oh, you won't be able to get such and such to wear it. Sponsorships. Or, yeah, you ain't gonna wear a clothing brand you don't know. Um, yeah. And people say, oh, you need money to make a clothing brand. You know, like, if I listened to people, I wouldn't have even jumped in at the deep end. And you're either gonna sink or swim. But how do you know how well you're gonna do unless you try it? Like, Honestly, I never expected to have so many like famous people, footballers, rappers wearing my clothing and you know, I feel blessed and it, it's kind of surreal that I've got all these people wearing my clothing and it's just going to get bigger and better because as I'm growing as a brand, like the only way is up and like, yeah, like I said, I, I was shocked to see mason greenwood wearing one of my caps and you know to see music artists in videos wearing the clothing here's the job center willing old job center a few you might know it you know but in part two we'll go in depth like you know places that i've worked you know leading into the clothing brand my whole like Battle with depression, anxiety, um, losing my granddad to cancer, um, just wa watching like what he went through in the hospice, like that that was deep and yeah, it affected me psychologically and almost lost everything and fell off. 
but today is just like a brief understanding about who I am where I come from what made me start the clothing and then yeah part two we get into it but what a place to finish so like I've said previously it don't matter where you start in life or what hurdles you eat along the way you can still do and be anything you want to like and age doesn't mean nothing either like you can you cannot succeed until you get to your 30s but then you could have a life changing year your life can change in six months to one year like and yo believe that i'm i'm living proof like you know i'm not saying that yeah i'm superior or anything like that no i'm there's still a lot to learn and a long way to go but i'm just giving you hope and letting you know from someone that's experienced a whole heap of different things in life that yeah never let where you come from determine your outcome and you know what we're gonna leave it at that peace and love like and subscribe make sure you share and whatever you want to know about me or hear from me in part two drop it in the comments all right bow <laughs>